guys welcome back to our channel today i'm here at key west for the first time to see what we can find and discover come join us on our adventures here on lavish dolls so this is the room we're staying in we're in the best western obviously i got my stuff right there they got their beds we have our tv drawers we have our closet with our stuff in it already they have a microwave, a fridge. <gasps> they got popcorn, guys. Hey. And their bathroom. It's not that bad. A little bathroom. Like a tourist, we picked up a map and there's so much to do, so much places to eat. It shows us a couple places. And now we're just gonna sit down and figure out a plan of what we're gonna do first. So we found Truman Waterfront Park. Let's go see what this is all about. Look at that Coast Guard ship. I'm about to get closer to it too. So over here, they have the playground, the splash pad, the restroom, the amphitheater, and the beach. But we also want to head to the fort, Zachary Taylor, to check that out too. So let's go over here real quick. Really, really quick, guys. And you can see the splash pad. I couldn't even spit it out. The splash pad. Yeah, little ones. You can also move here. It's a nice hot day too. It's a but it's a warm breeze, it's not something that will, you know, you ain't gonna freeze, that's for sure. Look at how cute. Look how big this Coast Guard boat is. It's humongous. This video doesn't do justice to it. It is huge. Look how beautiful it is out here. So we made it to Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park. Let's go. Let's see what we have here. Here we are, guys. Here's a map for you guys. There's a fort entrance this way. If you want to take a bike and a hike path, it's going to be on this side. And it tells you the trail. On the top, it shows everything. It has a little index, you could say, saying hiking, biking, swimming, nature watching, fishing, picnicking, beach rentals. They got the food, the bathrooms, diving, exhibit showers. They got everything over here. Let's check this out. Let's go this way. Our first marker right here. Our first stop here is Fort Taylor. Over here it tells you everything that has happened when it was built. It was built in 1844 and it was to help protect the sea of attacks upon the United States. It was a home for 450 soldiers here. That's crazy. Let's find out some more stuff. There's a picture of him right over here. 
Zachary Taylor. This letter above was written by General Josh Toden, Army Corps of Engineers, naming the fort in Key West Fort Taylor. Next stop is the blacksmith shop. We're gonna go up here and check it out. Ooh, rocks everywhere. We need some stairs here, guys. There's wood. Look at that iron in the oven in the back. Oh, these things are extra old. Look out, look out there. Tools and stuff. So we're entering the fort. Look at cannonballs down there. this thing looks if you want to drop a donation and they take donations here too they got a map for you y'all almost seen that y'all see me shake it's because i almost fell huh. it has fort taylor through the ages of 1861 to 1947 it has like a color key that says Civil War, you know, World War One, World War Two stairs to the second tier. It tells you where to go. It tells you where you're at. This place is totally and it gives you a little info, a quick fact, if you want to sit and, walk and read it. Let's look in here. Looks like a little cannon. The other one. I, see, I know I've seen another one over here. Oh, <gasps> empty room. Nothing there to see. <laughs> Let's keep going. You want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs, guys. Historic ruins, uneven surfaces. Oh, wow. What's the point of this? Does it look like gold things? Wow, this is big. Not, I don't think, not as big as the one in Puerto Rico, but it's pretty big. What's in here? like something to carry yeah it's like a little cart or something let's go over here keep checking out what they have oh you can go upstairs one more flight of stairs to see what's up there This is pretty view. Look at this. Here. Let's see what this posting has to say. Hidden treasures. In the beginning on December 22, 1968, Howard, England, and a small group of volunteers started an eight and a half year quest at Fort Taylor using shovels and a large civilian construction crane. American Civil War treasures at the fort. Within an hour, they had discovered the first iron artifacts. And obviously, with the cannons. I love these things, it gives you a lot of facts in, like, in a short amount of time to read. <laughs> So 
I came down to check what was down here too. I mean, this place is huge. Oh, this is all cement. Different kinds of cements and blocks and bricks. Let's go to the next room. Hmm. Oh, gunpowder. Ammo, cannons. Dang. Those are huge. Oh, look at it. Let me bring it closer. This right here, this big thing, let me get farther back. It's called Scarlet. It's a three inch ordinance gun. Wow. She big. Okay. Homemade solid shot. Look at that homemade grape shots. Wow. Parish shell. Mortar shot. Cannonball, 64 pounds. Cannonball that was 125 pounds. A parish shell that's 150 pounds. Those things, those things were heavy. The heck? Oh, so you could come in here and see like a video and they must have like talks or something before like COVID and stuff and they give uh, information they have like a TV going on you can see it but now you can see it but it was a little blurry this is pretty cool I'll give you a little background of this fort in the front there it's another post that says a couple things on it that I just passed by it's right here it's called Sally Port. They have all sorts of fun facts about it. Let's see what else they have here. This is so interesting. I would like to just come and just slowly like look at it. Like piece by piece. I wonder if there's like a food place or something like where they used to eat like a diner where they eat their food oh it is because look I found it it says feeding the soldiers yeah the mess hall I knew it was something like that Uh, the kitchen, mess hall. Yeah, the kitchen, mess hall. That's the, that's the wine. And there goes the wine. Yeah. Just kidding, I don't know what it is, but it looks like it. <laughs> so after you come from the fort, which is behind here, you go right to the beach. Soak your feet, take a walk, take a swim. That water is freezing. Oh, get some towels. Oh my gosh. Freezing. Water is freezing. So we decided to eat here at the Mission de Pepe restaurant. And it is a Cuban island cuisine restaurant. And underneath the front here, at the bottom, it has a, like a little fact board. And it says, highlights in the history of the United States, Cuba, Key West, and Havana. Wow, this place is decorated so nicely. It's all themed out. How nice is that? They got rum running. I don't know what that is. Maybe running with rum? I don't know. Someone tell me, please, what that means. They have the Cuba flag which makes sense it's a cuban um restaurant they have all sorts of artifacts and documents and everything that you could read 
Cuban population of Key West, 1868 through 1900. It says approximately 9,800 Cubans in Key West in 1878. Dang, they got some nice stuff over here. Oh my God. Oh, look at the tables. I didn't even notice the tables. They're nice. So they brought us out some bread here and two sauces. I gotta see what they are. It's a sandwich. I don't know what it is, but I'm about to try it, I guess. There's a, a green one. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Let's try it. What is this? It's like garlic bread. There we go. Let's try the green one first. Mm -hmm. It's like garlic butter. Mm, it's good. Let's try this one. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, whatever that is, is good. And really spicy. Mm, good. So our food came out. I got the ropa vieja. In English, it calls, it's called old clothes. It looks delicious. I got sweet bananas, yellow rice, beans, and skirt steak and peppers, onions, and some kind of juice there. My dad's food's right there. He already started eating. He cheated. What did you buy, Pa? What is that again? Rasco. Churrasco. It's like a steak, but it's a uh, thin, very thin. Look at the plate. I got it. it I got it. It starts from here to here. It's a huge piece of steak. And then mommy got her, what is that, shrimp, right? Yeah. Shrimp, tostones, the rice, rice and beans. All right, guys, we're about to eat. So guys, this is where we end the video. I'm exhausted, I'm full. That place was delicious. If you're looking for Cuban food, a Cuban cuisine, you should go there. I only paid $85, what a bargain. And we got a lot of food. It was delicious. I mean, so tasty, so flavorful, whatever you wanna call it, it was awesome. I give it a 10. If you're new here, welcome. Come join us on our adventures here in Lavish Jaws. Please subscribe, like, comment, and follow us also on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and TikTok. Bye, guys.